one, two, three. Nice. Make sure we're live. And we are very nice, very nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is February 22nd, 2022. We are at 2-22-2022. In two years' time, we're going to be two to two to two to two to <laughs> I think I said one too many twos. Welcome to the live stream gang. Today, today, what we are about to do is we're going to be talking about investing and personal finance. Open discussion, nice and chill. And what a day to do, what a day to do. There's so much going on, so much going on on so many fronts that if you get a kick out of these things, it'll make you uh, dance with joy. And if you're not good at multitasking, it's going to make your head spin. Plutonic Pluros, how are you doing? I'm on time. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, brother. <laughs> And welcome to our third live stream in three days. And we got another four to go. We set up seven live streams for the next seven days or for seven days. And this is our third. We did um, current events a couple of days ago. We did mathematics yesterday. And we are doing investing in personal finance today. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Hi, all. Salutations, salutations. Um, let me give you guys my little intro. If you want to know what this is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, following on Patreon is a good way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share a like. If you enjoy the content there, Patreon is a great way to support this. Okay. We are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. And if you want to participate in the chat, ch -ch -ch, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, thank you very much for the support on both of these platforms both patreon and twitch it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and i hope you're enjoying the content it's uh, definitely exciting definitely interesting definitely all of it like 99 percent of it links up to the realm of mathematics which is really the foundation of what we are doing um and it's a cool cool way cool way to archive and to learn um, math and how math can apply in the real world and mods on twitch thank you very much for being here it is in large part because of your support cheryl and elder god is here a lot of the times and almost all the time and many others as well thank you very much for the support gang lark bark hey 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 my man how are you doing i just got off from work awesome awesome lark bark i hope you're gonna enjoy our little nice live stream eduardo how are you doing hey chicho and chat salutations all are god all are god crazy times crazy times and the market reflects them right i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor getter and uh, vk x how are you doing always listening nice nice x did you get the package yet i don't think it's there yet i don't think it's there yet i don't think it's there yet baseman 723 finally making it to your live stream so much love for you ah oh, lots of salutations right back to you brother or sister of course right but baseman i'm assuming as a brother thank you for the love lots of love right back to you from the west coast all the way to the east coast fun times fun times i've been watching the markets in your part of the woods uh, a lot <laughs> new york is interesting man uh, fun times fun times what up what up x i did ah oh, you did get it in perfect condition nice okay gang i have no idea when i sent it i think it was like a month and a half ago two months ago uh x got amazing spider-man 361 
all the way from west coast of Canada to Sweden, I believe. And it made it there <laughs> in good condition, in perfect condition, in a month and a half or two months or something like that. Or a month, I don't know. Uh, awesome, awesome. Brother, indeed, 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 bass man. We are indeed. Gang, we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and that podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play simulator simulacra simulacra of sound simulacra what does simulacra mean am i pronouncing that right cool of sound joe how are you doing chicho have you had a chance to check out the doc no brother not yet joe uh i got so much on my plate right now especially uh right now that uh, we're doing seven live streams in a row and i did cancel on my students i'm in support of the trucker convoy they called for a week uh general strike and i'm doing my part in general striking my math teaching i won't i won't do it longer uh, for too long a period because that's going to hurt the kids uh, so i don't want to hurt the kids but the way i teach mathematics is i teach way ahead uh, unless they're brand new i have to fill in gas but i teach i teach my students in a way where if i have to not interact with them for a week they know what to do right and they're ahead of class usually so i prep them right uh, but longer than a week it will hurt them right that's something our centralized institutions did not understand right locking out kids from education for weeks months some places years just poor education that's detrimental to their economic well-being aside from their mental well-being right this all connects up this all connects up right chicho in the house felix how are you doing hope you're doing well via viking ship plural says viking ships all the way awesome vikings vikings plural of semi uh semilacrum semilacrum what's a semilacrum i don't know what a semilacrum is void hook yo how are you doing hope you're doing well lark bar chicho how long you think inflation will last in the states a long time we're in an extended period of inflation gang it's gonna get nasty and gang we will be uploading this live stream most likely all of it to censor to if we have to cut it out at some point we'll just mention that you can follow the link on bitchu rumble and odyssey because this live stream will be will be uploaded in its entirety on bitshoot rumble and odyssey 100 percent as well as the audio on soundcloud and most likely because it's personal finance we'll probably be able to get it all on sensor too but who knows times are changing times are changing we might not even be able to talk, talk about economics and personal finance and investing and trading uh soon on censored platforms because uh, if you watch the markets the markets dictate the markets tell you what's coming right they project and there are certain things we have projected that have come about and there are certain things that we are projecting right now that might come about we don't know we can all only do our best guess uh, or analysis on it let me take these things down again how did everyone's puts pay out today <laughs> Similar, semi ulacra, semi ulacra of sound. Semi ulacrum is an image. Oh, check this out. A semi semulacrum. A semulacrum is an image or representation of something, someone or something. So semul semulacra. Of sound is a representation of sound ah very cool very cool I like this word I gotta learn how to pronounce it and start using it a semulacrum is an image 
or representation of someone or something is an image or representation of someone or something so you could incorporate that word with nfts as well right an image or representation of an art piece of uh, music of a creation that would should work out i'll look into this beautiful word by the way i like your name I feel like this is an 18th century pub. So pretty much. Oh my god. Snacks. Oh, I got good snacks today. <laughs> oh, it's very relevant to NFTs. It's very relevant to NFTs. Very cool. Very cool. You want to see my snacks today? I went to the bakery today. I went to the bakery today. Ooh. I got uh like mousse, chocolate mousse with like a a little bit of pastry on this one with the raspberry bottom and it's got uh, let me see if I can get this thing focused it's gonna be difficult I think Ooh. oh there it is see the a red there that's like raspberry in the bottom right and this has got a little bit of uh, almond uh, flowery thingy this is chocolate mousse and chocolate and this one is uh, this one I took a little chunk out of it already lemon lemon custard thing that's really good nice and tart nice and tart uh, sometimes you got to eat the stuff right sometimes it just got to be done right you can't eat be eating carrots all the time <laughs> that we do <laughs> i'm laughing too hard so it's pretty yummy i've had a little taste of both i've had i've had this one before i hadn't had the lemon one before uh, it's really crumbly so the chocolatey guy mm, the chocolate is really good and sweet and I have some uh, matcha with uh, oat milk sweetened with honey delicious and when the sweetness gets a little bit too much just straight up black tea with ginger actually with ginger root in there as well so it's really nice that's my snack void what you guys got what you guys got going on plutonic porous only uh, no similar crumb from Jean Boudrill, <laughs> man, these names back from my studies. Oh my God, I have gluten-free crackers with dairy-free butter topped with ham. Nice, I had some ham today, earlier, uh, pork chops. Sometimes you gotta do it. <laughs> uh, I stream ASMR occasionally, hence the name. Ah, awesome. Oh yeah, I would definitely, be incorporated into asmr for sure right yeah 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 you could do some amazing stuff with it <laughs> cheryl's like oh my god <laughs> i figured you'd appreciate cheryl elder god not so much but cheryl you would love it looks fantastic it's delicious this bakery is really good gang an image with an exist uh plutor uh platonic plurus an image with an existence of its own or not uh, debate it uh, baseman oh, always the fantastic snacks gotta we we gotta treat ourselves we gotta eat well we gotta eat healthy scooby snacks uh -huh, plutonic pores <laughs> we'd be popping up boop 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 a gentle microdose uh felix chicho have you ever braised uh shallots no i've never braised them i cook some uh, as a side for my dad's birthday braise them with oil red wine butter and thyme wow they have that taste of an onion but much more mild and they were he heavenly really I've never tried with um, shallots what we do we cut them up right so I cut them up into chunk bite-sized chunk they're they're dry usually the shallots well we buy buy dry shallots I have a few packs of them I cut them up or break them up 
right? And then soak them in water in the fridge. So put them in, put them in in a bowl and soak them in water, right? Overnight or free for a few hours, and then pour out the water, and then take the shallots, cut up fine now. Preferably, you want it to be more diced or chopped, right? And then add it to yogurt. Mix it in with yogurt, and then put it in the fridge. Let the shallot flavor get into the yogurt. And if they were dry, the shallots suck the water from the yogurt, so the yogurt becomes harder, right? So it makes an amazing dip. It's have it's phenomenal, and it has the garlic onion, but it's more garlic flavor to it. But I've never braised the uh, shallots. I gotta try that out. Super delicious. It sounds super delicious. Joe Chicho, which of the current sanctions against Russia will have the biggest effect on the economy? Uh, the oil and gas, anything related to oil and gas. And a currency is basically by putting on the sanctions, they're not going to kick them off swift. The United States has, has already uh, stated last week, unless they're going to change it again, you can't take the word for anything, right? Kick them off swift. Now, United States has kicked others off swift system right and swift is where you settle uh trades international trades uh in u.s currencies right but if they kick them off swift uh, then that's just another death blow to the u.s dollar right so i don't think that's going to happen banking wise anyway but it's made the main attack the one of the main reasons the stuff has been going on with ukraine is because of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline and because and Russia building two pipelines going into China to feed China energy so Europe has basically sealed its fate right unless Germany can stand up to NATO and say no Nord Stream 2 is gonna open up because Germany needs it they'd be insane G German government would it would be committing a crime against the german population if they say we're not going to use the north stream too not only not only that but they just burned the bridge and a half because they're the ones that requested russia to build the pipeline to begin with all right they're the ones that closed their nuclear power plants they're the one that been planning on going green right it's everything related to energy right um and I can tell you that uh, with the drop today, uh, family had puts on uh, an oil company, Canadian oil company, and that had been dropping. So family sold most of the puts that they had on the oil company. Okay, because we'll see what happens, right? But the odds are they're going to say no to Nord Stream 2. And what's going to happen? Energy prices are going to go through the roof, right? Uh, one of the one of the plays that's happened my guess is this right here I'll give you my guess about what's going on with the fracking right in the United States so uh, gas prices energy price was low 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 two years ago it went negative right like literally a barrel of oil cost you money to store right it's like fiat currency it was like fiat currency you put your money in the bank and it costs you money to put your money in the bank but it was worse off we were streaming during that time and oil went down to minus twenty dollars a barrel <laughs> right with the with the two years ago with the whatever you want to call this thing that we're coming out of some places are coming out of right so that was the nail in the coffin for the fracking industry in the united states right they weren't making money they were losing money up the yin yang at 50 dollars a barrel right let alone at negative 10 dollars a barrel that it went down for a few hours right so what they did was basically stop fracking make it more difficult reduce fracking reduce fracking reduce fracking so that reduced the energy supply they have sanctions on iran which reduce the energy supply right they're creating chaos with russia which is reducing the possible supply energy to the west from russia right so energy prices are going up right people are paying up the yin yang at gas stations to heat their homes uh travel like it affects everything when oil prices go up the economy collapses when oil prices go up beyond 
a level that the economy can sustain it, the economy collapses. Now, it's not just oil. You should think about it as energy, right? So when energy prices go up, the economy is going to grind to a halt, which is to a degree what's been going on, right? It's grind. We can't do this, right? There's a lot of companies putting out their financials and they're, they're making mint money, right? Inflation, they already compensated for it. They've been selling their products for more or they're raising prices, right? So they beat their revenues. They beat their um, earnings per share, but the costs are going through the roof, right? One of the reasons the costs are going through the roof is because energy is high, right? So with this maneuver, there's a, my guess is this. There's a, there has been a play uh, for the last few years to prevent Russia from supplying energy to Western Europe because the United States wants to supply energy to Western Europe at an inflated price, right? It has to be an inflated price relative to Russia because that's the only way the fracking industry in North America will even come close to breaking even, right? At, a, at an expense, which is unbelievable, by the way, environmental, right? So Ukraine has been in play because of that. Right. So Ukraine is being sacrificed as a sacrificial lamb, right, to maintain a certain type of link between all of these nations and build uh, uh, consumers, make sure there are consumers for expensive fracking gas. OK, uh, that's what's going on. And I think. Uh, gas prices are one of the main things and on that note with the drop today in many things family got rid of 80 percent of the puts that they were holding on one of the oil companies in canada as well as one of the mining companies in canada because they both not not in canada mining company but international they both dropped hard today February 22nd, 2022, right? Uh, as I mentioned, so did many other companies. So family blew out a lot of the, not a lot of the puts, some of the puts, uh, and did major maneuver uh, today regarding that. So oil, long answer. Do they ba bake milk tarts too? 27th is milk tart day is <laughs> 27th milk tart day february 27th milk tart day <laughs> i like that day john zag how are you doing i tried a daikon today for the first time i thought i was having a carrot or um break uh or breakfast and was met with a pleasant new taste yeah daikons are really good uh, uh very they quench the thirst very well Putin is the dish of the day. Putin is the dish of the day. Hilarious. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist, that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor 2. MC Mike, how are you doing? Chicho, man. I'm breaking down, brother. Need some... Uh, cheering up canada has fallen uh mc mike uh i know there's a lot of things going on but uh there's a lot of positive going on really there's a lot of positive going on uh, i don't want to get into it during a personal finance stream because otherwise we won't be able to load it up on sensor tube uh but don't break down brother there's a lot of amazing stuff going on there's a lot of amazing stuff going on right and we're doing a current events in a couple of days or something um we can talk about it then if you like uh, but i'll give you one example uh in uh, after 9 11 i couldn't there was barely anybody that understood what was going on right at, like right after 9 11 invasion of afghanistan i'd be going around and talking to people and people they drank the kool-aid up to here they were kool-aid coming out of their not only their a-holes but coming out of their ears and their eyes and their own nose i was trying to explain to them look man this isn't what you think it is couldn't convince anyone right now this is on the same level what's going on by the way very much on the same level one of the most important peers in human history by the way last two years 
and economically as well that's why it's related economically right now minimum minimum in my part of words is harder but I'm guessing minimum 50% of the population in Canada know exactly what is going on now or they will within the next month that's a huge increase in 20 years that's a that's an amazing an amazing number of people growth of the veil being lifted and everyone going the emperor's not wearing clothes whoa what's going on now what did we do right uh, that's huge brother that's huge that's huge right it's still less than what I what I would hope for don't get me wrong don't get me wrong I don't like seeing people uh, get hurt in terms of finances health and stuff like this which is one of the reasons I was writing a lot of economics articles in 2006 2007 building up to the 2008 clash crash telling people look man get out of Marcus it's about the you know the poop is about to hit the fan get up get out the stuff the stuff the stuff because it's it's it, it's difficult to watch people lose shit right however however at that time uh, even though there were some that had awakened because it was 2006 2007 after the invasion of Iraq people to a certain degree more figured out it was as Greenspan said it's about the oil <laughs> like they came out and said it's about the oil right and that links up to the question that um, uh, Joe asked what aspect of the sanctions on Russia is going to affect the economy most it's energy energy it, gang if you want to think about anything right energy is the driving factor for everything okay how much energy you put into your studies depend uh, will dictate how you do in your studies right how much energy you put into your family dictates how the health of your family how much energy you put into your own well-being your own mindset right uh, dictates how you will function in the society and the cost of energy in our current economic system and what type of energy we are consuming dictates every aspect of our lives from the economic and political front right so look at the amount of energy being uh, uh, being consumed by certain systems uh, look into how much energy is being emitted uh, with certain movements and where that energy is going and once you can you can track this energy you can recognize this energy you can at least not um, be able to you could possibly if you have the algorithms to m collect data and do calculations but at least you can recognize it to a level that you can approximate it quantify it approximately right then you can see uh, where we might be heading right it's not the immediate that is the key uh, here okay it is what uh, the repercussions of certain actions are going to be in our economic and political systems and in our society that is taking place right now and once you look at it that way uh, you realize a certain faction is making every wrong move possible uh, that is awakening another faction in our societies that uh, that me and you belong in <laughs> it's brilliant it's brilliant right a lot of people are getting hurt you know what sometimes our uh, pain is part of growing up right i would argue that pain is always a part of growing up so for example uh, all of those people who had their eggs in one basket may it be fiat currency centralized institutions centralized banking centralized education centralized political system uh, all of those people or many of those people are waking up to the reality that oh wait a second the games have the rules of the game have changed our central education system has collapsed wait a second so the amount of money I'm spending in taxes uh, to make sure my child gets a proper education 
it has been wasted because my child is not getting a proper education. So I need to fork out more money to private institutions or to private educators to be to be able to make sure my child is properly educated, right? You're seeing people being abused on a political front. You're seeing people being abused on the financial front, right? All of that is adding is 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 causing people to join the wave right like I, th I don't want to go too specific because this is the personal finance stuff right we can definitely talk about this more uh, in a couple of days two or three days when we do the current events but all of that is economics all of that is economics all of it right Steve Ways Chicho what's uh, what's up, Chicho? <laughs> what's up, Steve Ways? Haven't been able to catch a stream in a in a minute. Uh, been uh, F O M O F O M O. What's F O M O? F O M O. Since I've missed the previous economic stream, what's new? Do you think the current crash is uh, soon rebounding? Would this be a good time to buy into a few things? Um, okay, Steve Ways is, is talking about uh, the stock market, right? And um, because a lot of people were asking about uh, the markets and I had mentioned that I've been in the markets before and stuff like this, uh, I got a little involved with uh, family going into the markets, right? And I shared a little pic of the gains that I, 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 I went hands on into the markets when the initial family investment had gone down a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> and I started uh, doing what I, I needed to do right and you have to spend a little time in the markets and stuff like this to get the flow right this is this is a dance if you're if you're trading you know it's a dance it's it's a flow it, it's gambling right um, so th the way if you're doing trading right and long-term investment you were fool to take all your money and put it into uh, long-term anything right now uh, you can go in and out you can put a little bit of your money into long-term something that you think is okay uh, but having all your eggs in that long-term basket is insanity right so i got involved with wall street a little bit i've been doing what i do for the last few months last year let's say right and i sh sh shared a pick where uh in the last month uh the portfolio had gone up 30 percent family portfolio had gone up around 30 percent right and that wasn't uh by holding one thing okay or shorting one thing right now the markets are in a way that you have to be flipping you have to be trading okay you can go into long-term certain plays for a certain period of time right but uh take your profits where you can there are certain places that uh i can tell you that the family is in that they're going for a bounce and certain places they're going for a crumble right um, and over the last year if you've been coming to the personal finance streams and stuff and current event stream you guys know some of the plays that family has been making right uh, puts on PayPal puts on Moderna uh, puts on uh, Lululemon puts on Etsy puts on DoorDash um, puts and calls on Nvidia uh, calls on coin uh, options trading cannabis long so in and out certain sectors there are certain sectors uh, if you want to if you want to think about it this way uh, as far as I'm concerned there are certain sectors uh, family is willing to go long on and there are certain sectors family is not willing to go long on that means the ones that we're not willing to go long on are put plays the ones that the family is willing to go long on are either call plays or just get the equities just get the stock and there is an overlap where family is okay with going long and short and long and short means put some calls right so if you if you want to think about it there's a venn diagram circle circle they overlap and that's what the play is and i recommend uh playing it that way okay uh, it takes time you have to be um, active okay MC Mike 
maybe reagan was right about the liberalism i uh, wasn't a big fan of him but shit is getting tyrannical uh, as fuck over here mc mike 100 percent i'm you guys know i i have a lot of left-leaning tendencies right but the hell with this uh government needs to be cut down because government is biggest right now government is the biggest spender in a country right like i believe in the united states government was accounted for in the last two years 50 percent of gdp or some crap like this a huge percentage 30 percent, whatever it is that's insanity that's 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 citizens tax money being spent by a centralized institution that pays six hundred dollars for a hammer right that's corrupt up the yin yang right and that's more so in canada as well so i'm with you mc mike uh i used to be pro union uh uh, and some unions yes some unions no uh i used to be um, pro uh, socialism to a certain degree but hell no hell no uh once the system goes fully tyrannical it is time to gut it uh and economically it is disaster for uh economy so for example in canada if you're a big time investor you'd be insane to park your money in canada disclaimer family is heavy puts a Canadian bank okay Canada is now dictatorship which means it is not inducive it's a fascistic dictatorship by the way so corporation merger of corporation and state however it is not a free market so you would have to be insane insane to park your money in Canada okay it, it you'd be crazy I expect the Canadian dollar to crumble in the next few months okay uh, it really depends relative to the US dollar by the way it really depends what happens in the United States um, so that's that's my take on the same uh, on the same situation and once it goes to that level they've proven that um, that system goes fully tyrannical then it is time to privatize everything and I mean it you right now in canada we need to put the brakes on and privatize everything gut the government 90 percent i think canadian government needs to be reduced down to 10 percent of size of its current size there is no other choice right minimum 50 percent got it boom done because canada's bankrupt right like literally canada's bankrupt they've destroyed half the small businesses in canada um mentally they've traumatized devastated i don't know how many generations now right that's going to have an economic impact on canada that's going to have an ep economic impact on canada uh it's huge it's huge okay uh right now uh family is not long there's maybe two companies in canada that they're just pissing money into the wind that family is long on otherwise family doesn't have any investments in any canadian companies on the contrary canada is shorting canadian companies okay shorting canadian companies because we live in a fascist state right i think it's only short-lived fascism by the way i think it's gonna this fascism will not last but it's going to take a hit the economy is going to be devastated for a while uh aside from the underground economy felix chicho never thought of having them with yogurt sounds a bit like yeah it's like tatsiki yeah 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 definitely like tatsiki felix might have spelt that wrong if you've uh tried that before yeah for sure it's delicious and you can add a little bit of greens oh we're getting the sunshine going in let's see let's see we would have to do this let's see if we can block off can we block off the sun i don't know if we can block off the sun <laughs> let's see let's see we got sunshine coming in it's going through the thing let's see let's see ah is it gonna go behind let's see where the thing is oh there's a long way sunshine coming we're going to be in the sunshine for this is good asmr but <laughs> we're going to be in the sunshine for at least another hour uh, half an hour maybe 
if you guys are okay it is bright though eh? it is bright let's see how we're we gonna do this <laughs> let's check it out let's check it out oh that works oh that doesn't work oh that works no that doesn't work i could do this let's check it out dangerous 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 oh it's just a little too short just a little too short let's try this out okay i'm gonna do a little bit of a range i'm gonna be trying as quiet as possible without making too much noise so you guys don't get hurt with the mic maybe i should mute the mic i'm gonna mute the mic gang okay i'm gonna mute the mic sorry if i'm not reading the chat there we go did it work did it work yeah that works nice where am i am i missing a lot of chat oh, i'm missing so much chat dang we have to take care of the sunshine gang i'm going up i'm gonna scroll down uh current event stream thank you elder god current event stream is on um, thursday uh two days from now okay two three to four three to five p.m three to five p.m uh and Elagar told me to correct that. On Charter Hey Chicho. Hope you and Chad are having a great day. Not bad. Pretty good, brother. Thank you very much. Anti-socialist behavior, how are you doing? Also, get as much of your holdings into a tangible asset class. ASAP. Inflation rising, cost of goods uh, sold, uh, showing no sign of slowing down. Indeed. Indeed. Inflation is not coming down. This is a full-on, right? Do we think that the shutdown of Nord Stream 2 that the US will be I'm gonna read this uh, anti-socialist behavior do you think uh, with the shutdown of Nord Stream 2 that the US will be forced to backtrack on Biden's hardline stance of drilling yeah uh, anti-socialist behavior I talked about this uh, before you showed up uh, that is exactly what's going to happen I think that now that Eastern Europe is going to be competing directly with the uh, US Biden would be foolish to maintain his position from January to February 2021 Biden is too much of a opportunist and uh, survivalist to risk the up uprising that would happen if gas goes to five dollars again uh, anti-social behavior I think this was by design uh, they were waiting until something happened with the Ukraine legendary rob boss how are you doing what are your thoughts uh, on this new feminist movement about establishing a geno gino state they are calling it a pinoy <laughs> i don't know this thing brother <laughs> legendary rob boss <laughs> joe chicho oil made up 60 percent of russian exports in 20, uh, 2019 uh, russia is just going to export the energy to china to india let's say europe doesn't buy the energy who gives a rat's ass if i was if i was if if i was a, a energy exporter right i have a product that everybody needs everybody wants okay that i'm making mint money on even if it's trading at 50 dollars a barrel russia still makes money okay uh saudi arabia no saudi arabia needs oil to be around 80 dollars a barrel 80 85 dollars a barrel so saudi arabia, Air, Air, saudi arabia now is making money on oil right not because it costs that much to extract it out but it, their uh, their their expenditures are insane right uh so th there will always be uh those that want to consume russian energy uh, there's no doubt about it right how long do you think how long do people think that europe is going to be able or european citizens will put up with the price of energy being 
what is being extracted out of the United States through fracking or through the tar sands in Canada, oil sand, oil sands in Canada, right? How long do people think that European citizens will put up with that? My guess is not long, right? A year, two years, three years? How many people will have their power shut off in the winter and people start dropping off before they say, wait a second, right? I'm scrolling down, gang. I'm scrolling down. I'm going to catch stuff that says Chicho on it. If I'm missing anything, please let me know. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll read it. Uncharted uh, uh, antisocial behavior. Uh, Chicho, rightism is the belief that there is an underlying hierarchy that allows for value discriminant and that the existence of the hierarchy is good. Leftism believes that a value hierarchy creates a group who are unable to climb the ladder unchecked rightism leads to tyranny of those at the top of the hierarchy over those at the bottom unchecked leftism leads to the destruction of the hierarchy and therefore we lose the ability to make value decisions uh, uh i disagree to a certain degree uh, because leftism can lead to tyranny we've already seen it we're seeing it right now in canada and other parts of europe right leftism has full-on tyranny full-on tyranny tyranny to the level that uh certain fascists throughout history would have only dreamt of being able to do such as such as seizing the bank accounts of those that are being charged with mischief seizing the bank accounts of those that haven't been charged with anything seizing the bank accounts for those who are making a donation to a cause seizing the bank accounts of single mothers working minimum wage that are trying to support organizations that want to open the economy so they can get out of poverty and the government the left government seizing those um, those people's bank accounts at the same time citizens of that nation whose bank accounts have not been seized putting their fingers up their thumb and saying that's the right thing to do right leftism can lead to tyranny like nothing else and it leads to it extremely fast i have never throughout history and i like studying history right i've studied history many uh, and watched uh, social economic development i have never in my life okay read about a situation where rightism was able to acquire this much power without the population rising up in a way that they shat their pants right i have never witnessed it happen this quickly right and as they're economically is it they're they're literally in canada they are killing the economy they are devastating the economy why are they devastating it because they want the majority of the population to be dependent on the state right because if they step out of line they don't get the money they don't get the money they don't get the food they don't get the food they don't get to eat they don't get to eat they don't they don't get to live right so they better bend the knee okay plant the fence maddie how are we doing Antisocial behavior, uh, Chicho. Without one to check the other, we end up in chaos. However, the Overton window has shifted so far that the left has even those considered right leaning by today's standard would be blue dog Democrat 40 years ago. Uh, they're full on tyrannical fascists. Felix, Chicho, have you ever considered doing video video solely for ASMR? I have, Felix. Not like ASMR math or things along those lines. But just pure smart videos i think you kill it now felix i have eating pomegranates with a spoon um eating eat, i've done some eating videos full on asmr i've done combing my beer full on asmr uh i've done readings whisper readings asmr i've done some asmr full on but i like the layer i like the layer the sun god is defeated kill the sun god see Chicho, how the hell does oil form the you uh, from the u.s get sold to europe do they seriously ship it to you? yeah yeah liquefied natural gas right they want to put it on ship huge ships with huge tanks and then get europe to build 
uh, storage facilities so they can put all of that gas there. <laughs> yeah, sleepaways. Insanity. Insanity. Uh, Elder God. Fracking, uh, hydraulic uh, fracturing. Fracking, hydraulic fracturing or fracking is revolutionizing oil and gas drilling across the country. However, without rigorous safety regulations, it can poison groundwater, pollute surface water, impair uh, um, wild uh, landscapes, and threaten wildlife. Yeah, Elder God, I studied geophysics. Fracking is insanity to get gas out, right? Uh, fracking is... Uh, is at a lower uh, efficiency than the tar sands in alberta canada as far as i know right and saskatchewan so it's worse than <laughs> worse than the tar sands now that's saying a lot that's saying a lot i'm gonna have a little piece of uh, chocolate guys doop, doop. yum yum doop, doop. But we're going to take this down. MC Mike, first they censor you, then they then they jail you, then they kill you. That's the fascist way. I would say first they censor you, then they seize your bank account, <laughs> then they jail you, then they kill you. Uh, Elder God says I donated using a Mongolian based bank account. <laughs> nice, I gotta get myself some Mongolian bank accounts. <laughs> Plutonic pluralist leftism, ego, egalitarianism, and cultural anti hierarchy is played but for by totalitarian harmony. That's a that would be a great uh, uh, Plutonic pluralist. That would be a great uh, lap uh, rap li uh, lyric sentence phrase. Joe, Chicho, what do you think of uh, space mining? It's not efficient. Not right now, anyway. And man, do you want to put... Uh, well, I guess we've got to go private. Uh, privatizing is in the way, but we got to put a... put a Make sure uh, we deal with corruption, right? I'm okay with full-on privatization now, gang. As long as we deal with corruption and hold corporations accountable. Uh, I no longer... Uh, believe that uh, I think government should be gutted right I think all governments in the Western world need to be about 10% the size of they are right now and I think we have to work towards that and I think the way we do it we we offer alternatives to the current centralized system may it be alternative education may it be alternative uh, banking uh, currency huge and julian Assange talked talked a lot about this stuff uh gang regarding uh money and how to deal with it okay how what the what the state wants to do in terms of uh controlling humanity and what they want to do is they want to monitor everyone's bank account right monitor everyone's transactions and once they're able to do that then there's complete totalitarianism and in the case of canada when you have these kinds of people in government it becomes full-on fascism right uh, always with the munchies indeed beat mc mike chicho seizing bank accounts is a form of censorship it is uh financial censorship barring people from commerce yeah it's insane gang by the way like if you live in a country where the government can and this is personal finance advice how to be anti-fragile and make sure you, you you can you can weather the storm if you live in a country where a government can seize your bank account without due process just with a phone call right and it's not just the just the government because the government told the banks these are the people that they want uh, uh, their bank accounts to be frozen and without a court order the banks did it 
all right that's full-on fascism merger of corporation and government together right so the banks sh should be held liable for what has taken place but that's going to take a long time to play out it doesn't pay the rent for the single mom right that is working minimum wage that is going to become homeless like just imagine the canadian government in collaboration with the banks right two of the most powerful institutions in our country right like unbelievable they're making single moms that are working minimum wage they're seizing their bank accounts and they're making them homeless right and this is going to happen to thousands tens of thousands of canadians by the way tens of thousands of canadians businesses are being shut down because their bank accounts have been frozen my god okay so if you live in that type of country we do in canada you need to pull your money out i've been recommending family to do this you go to your bank pull out money in cash pull out money uh in canadian dollars and u.s dollars make sure you have enough funds to pay your way for at least six months to a year right uh store it in the safety deposit box go into the forest and find a rock and put it under it safer place than a bank right safest place in the bank make sure you have enough funds to pay your way for the next few months otherwise you're up shit creek okay it's insane and i have no idea why uh people uh the whole population does not question what is happening right one of the reasons they don't is because there's a merger of uh, media and government as well right corporate media and government as well so they're parroting the thing but anyone that has any sense economic sense any sense of how commerce is done econ economy functions right understand that this is a death blow to an economy to a country that's as an individual that lives in that country right if you're a foreign investor and you have assets money in the bank uh, businesses you own in this in a country that has gone full-on totalitarian fascist that is that is seizing bank accounts you would be a fool to keep your money in that country why the f would you keep your money in a in that country? it's like investing in north korea why the fuck would you invest in north korea what are you what why would any foreign investor put their money in canada right why you have to be one dumb sob to do it man well, unless unless you're you know from the world economic forum and you just control the government right occupy territory that's my take it's you know I, i'm hoping walls don't go up once the economy really grinds to a halt and basically becomes 90 percent government uh gdp is 90 percent government just imagine <laughs> anti-social behavior chicho fracking is inefficient because you do it in wells that have already been pumped dry i was a petrol engineer in a previous life on conoco uh at Conoco Phillips ain't gonna spend the money on a frack job if they ain't making it back plus interest uh anti-socialist behavior I've, I was a geophysics a geophysicist for 10 years right and I know the concept of fracking going slant drilling and putting in the explosive fracturing it sending in the liquids we we, we recoup all the liquids no you don't what are you who are you shitting right uh, but fracking business was running in the united states for a very long time without making any money why because they were getting subsidies from the government so they were being sub there were companies that were being subsidized by the government so they were losing money on the books but they're getting paid by the government who's the government u.s taxpayer canadian taxpayer so taxpayers were funding fracking companies to extract oil extract gas energy felix chicho uh leading to the rebellion one whisper at a time one whisper at a time indeed uh felix we read uh general smedley butler's war is a racket and i focused on the mathematics and i had because general smedley butler gives some numbers 
in War is a Racket is a fantastic read, by the way. If you've never read General Smedley Butler's War is a Racket, it is related to personal finance, investing in personal finance, economics, right? So we read the, we did the reading and I put little formulas on the, on the image in the video where we're doing the mathematics, right? Anti-social theory, Chicho, the real solution is to let us drill in Anwar and offshore, uh, but until they ease the regs, frack is the best. Uh, Anti-socialist behavior, what happened to BP when they did the deep drilling, right, in the Gulf of Mexico and the whole thing blew up, right? And how much environmental damage did they do? Were they, were they held accountable? Hell no, they weren't held accountable. You, look, we can go to a fully privatized world and I think that's where we're going to head, by the way. I think we're about to go fully decentralized. It's, there's going to be some growing pains away from uh, these tyrannical uh, centralists, like globalists. But I think when all said and done, we, there's going to be a lot of new tech, disruptive innovation companies popping up. And you're going to see some of these giants that are supporting these totalitarian regimes, such as Canada. They're going to start falling, right? And that's going to lead to more privatization, right? Decentralization, right? And that's fine and dandy. But one thing we have to have on the books is we have to hold corporations accountable for their crimes, first of all, and uh, discretions that lead to injury or environmental damage, right? That's what needs to happen. And it's not just money they have to pay. People need to be prosecuted individually, right? Individually those in charge of creating a catastrophe must be brought uh civil suits must be brought on them as well okay as well as criminal okay mc my governments and banks have always been the enemy of the people uh throughout time governments literally indoctrinate the youth and have a monopoly on violence banks have always raw people of their time and freedom through inflation and taxation most taxes go towards paying off interest payments on bonds sold by the banks to the treasuries of governments the fractional reserve banking combined with the fiat currency is undoubtedly catastrophic to the everyday man or woman in the streets indeed mc mike it's the greatest ponzi scheme out in plain sight indeed it's a full-on ponzi scheme i agree with you there i'm scrolling down gang i jake the snake how are you doing i jake the snake x uh snake place uh, pliskin escape from new york and welcome to our live stream should one have some amount of silver gold and cash in different currencies at home uh possibly yeah but for uh, metals is not a bad place to be right now um to you know it's okay to have some in there as well whatever you do don't put everything you have in the markets in wall street in any market right don't have every don't put everything you have in silver don't put everything you have in gold don't put everything you have in uh wall street right you can trade don't put everything you have in cryptos don't put everything you have in comic books don't put everything you have in uh collectibles whatever right uh, must have multiple uh and that also includes revenue stream do not if you're if you're working at a place and the only place you generate money is from one location right this company you work for and they pay you your wages and you don't have anything else on the go you're playing with fire right meta dragon i would like to make a special request to have stream released as a podcast so i can return back to it i am having to educate myself in the uh, on the europe situation uh meta dragons i do upload the stuff to uh, soundcloud for these uh most of the personal finance stuff as well as the current events and some of the other ones we do upload it to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast audio only and it's and it's on a lapel mic so the sound quality is better what you hear right now um so if that's the case and i do upload all the videos to all the videos to uh, bitshoot rumble and odyssey and select videos live streams to censor to whatever we can get away with uh, to upload and censor to right 
just let me take these guys down. Jake the Snake, Putin is laughing at Germany for shutting down Nord Stream 2. It's sad how incompetent these people are. 55% of Germany's electricity relies on Nord Stream 2. Yeah, yeah, insanity. And Germany has Germany come out and said they're cutting it. As far as I know, it, it's still going through regulatory approval. They need to put the signature on it in June or something like this, which is a delay tactic until they could you know make the shit at the fan in the ukraine so they could put the sanctions on russia so germany wouldn't get their oil and germans are fucked right literally G G germans are and i i know this because i have family in germany they can't get energy cheap man germany's in deep shit right and that's just because they're bowing down to nato right similar cough sound not pronouncing that right chicho would you discourage anyone from immigrating hell do not immigrate to canada you got to be out of your mind to come here right now wait until these fascists are gone why would you immigrate to canada right now while it's under fascism uh, like, <laughs> like the odds are canadian currency is gonna flop canadian canadian industry mark businesses are are going bankrupt up the yin yang gang i've told you I, I go downtown here two years ago every storefront had had somebody in it retail space right now i go downtown half the stores are gone they're done they're people are bankrupt right i would not recommend people to immigrate to canada unless uh, unless you're immigrating from north korea <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> you're coming for north korea mm, canada is better right uh but if you're not careful it's going to be north korea -ish, soon -ish, right with everybody depend on the state with like really i no i don't recommend people i recommend if you're an outside investor I'm right now I'm recommending you pull your money out you're out of your mind <laughs> you're out of your mind it, any any business in Canada that's been established here aside from oil and gas but that that's going to be gutted too right as soon as the fracking kicks up online oil prices are going to drop uh, the cost of oil uh, uh, tar sands oil sands is going to drop right but if you're planning on setting up a business in Canada uh to prosper from the wealth of the canadian people and the canadian economy you're dreaming the canadian government in the last two years has devastated the canadian economy and with seizing bank accounts it's done and disclaimer gang family is heavy puts canadian bank okay joe chicho i think germany has halted the approval have they halted it okay but that's what we expected i didn't i didn't think they weren't gonna halt it i don't know how germans feel about that you guys are about to ouch right anti-socialist behavior as of four hours ago north stream 2 is officially halted yeah and putin knew right well russia's new like germany went to putin russia and said please build this pipeline please we need we need we need the energy putin said look man if we build it, it if we sign this it's got to be done they said yes please right and then they get it done they get there they just need the signature to get the gas flowing right and it costs russia i believe 20 billion dollars 200 billion how many, how many billion dollars did it cost russia to build this pipeline and then germany says no oh, really would you ever do business with germany again if you were any country I would if they gave up the cash right up front and you did the estimate you said this is how much it's going to cost to build transfer the money we'll start the project that's it buy fracking stocks no uh, uh i uh, maybe I'm, i haven't been tra ch checking fracking stocks but personally uh a family is not cool with making money off fracking <laughs> what is the family you keep <laughs> I'm referring to everyone asks me this just family 
you guys are part of my family. Hey, family, have you guys been, uh, uh, did you guys do okay with your dear puts? Uh, about in our Discord page, in, in our Discord page, about two weeks ago, or a week ago, last week, two weeks ago, I think, I mentioned that family uh, had puts on deer and it was trading at $399, $98, $390 dollars uh, last week or a week and a half, two weeks ago, whatever it was, right? Uh, right now, today, it closed at $252, dollars right? By the way, family blew out all the puts today right so family I, it actually uh, blew out some puts on Friday and blew out the rest of the puts today right so family no longer has puts on deer John Deere okay so uh, take that as you wish I think deer has a long ways to go with uh, 350 yeah uh, I think deer has a long ways to go down but it might family's hoping it'll do a pop okay now This is not financial advice. Some plays do not pay out at all. Some plays pay out well. Uh, this is just family, sharing within our family. Okay. That's it. Sleep away, Chicho. Why would Germany say no to Russia, though? Uh, because of the smoke and mirrors on Ukraine, right? It's a big deal, by the way. It's a big deal. But uh, Ukraine has been central in on many levels for the Western world right it even connects up to Doram but that's current events that we can talk about in two days from now and in the United States with the Clintons and the Bidens like that's how long it goes and how deep it goes uh, it goes back 10 years that the sh shit's been playing there right first time chat Tzig. 2605 hey chicho have you ever heard about argentina back in the day uh was thought to become a large economic power but due to instability it wasn't as successful um for sure argentina should be an economic power right and it was to a certain degree from what i understand but um what was that project called in the united states uh, where the united states said that latin america is their backyard and no one can mess with it uh, i forget what the term was and argentina had dictators installed and one of the death blows to argentina was the loans they take out they took out from the imf right with all the stipulations with the loan that came right that devastated argentina okay or south lat south america should be a powerhouse right way more than what it is right now but because of political shenanigans it's not rank germans are cheering the halting of Nord stream 2 at the moment but little do they know how expensive gas is going to be in a few months yeah anybody cheering that is they got they got their heads up their asses legendary rob boss nbc lost so much money in the beijing olympics that other broadcasters are now scared of anything china uh yeah anybody have you guys watched anything from that i haven't done anything who what's going on there uh olympics are a scam or, or olympics are not, and by the way you're talking to a guy i'm gonna cut, cut myself a piece of lemon meringue right here baby right there lemon meringue delicious it's super tart i gotta cut it and eat it right there there's a pastry lemon meringue thing jiggy very nice very nice let me just do a little pop here oh yeah look at this goodness look at this goodness let's do this let's do this look at that let me show it to you close up it's got a little bit of chocolate on there too look at this. we're gonna pop this baby oh, boop, boop, boop. oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah So good.
Oh ja. <laughs> Monroe Doctrine, anti-socialist behavior. Thank you very much, the Monroe Doctrine. Anti-socialist behavior, Chicho. The entire thing is owned by Gazprom, but half the funds were provided by a combo of Royal Dutch Shell, two German oil companies, France and Australia. So Russia, Gazprom is only on the hook for about five billion. So they're only on the hook for five billion. Yeah. Royal Dutch Shell, two German oil companies, man. <laughs> Europe is in trouble. Europe is Western Europe is in deep shit gang. Same as Canada, All right, same as Australia, same as New Zealand, same as the United States. Let's see what we can do about it, All right? People in Olympics were starving. Yeah, I wouldn't have done. Platonic plural, Chicho, is Ukraine important for its resources, raw mater um, materials? Is it just to provoke, it's just to provoke Russia. Ukraine has collapsed. And for Russia as a net neutral zone towards NATO. Yeah, NATO has been pushing it. They want war. Russia's not going to give them war, but Russia's going to spank them hard if they're stepping a little bit too much, right? Don't poke the Russian bear. Well, how idiotic, how idiotic of these morons to poke the Russian bear. Economically devastating. Politically, Russia just annihilated them, right? Ukrainians, unfortunately, have been sacrificed but man that's what happens when you let uh, uh, technocrats okay, technocrats fascists run amok in your country Canada is about to see a major decrease in the standard of living in Canada democracy index who was it I was seeing they had they rated Canada as like 12 best democracy in the world Canada right now is a fascist totalitarian state. The democracy level should be like there are 200 something countries in the world. Canada should be like, I don't know, 157th or something like this. What are people talking about? And unfortunately, a lot of Canadians are walking around with their heads up their asses thinking that this is a open market, free market. Everybody's got equal rights and stuff like this. They don't know. Right? Ignorance is bliss until ignorance comes and messes with you. Please, this is uh, Steve, she showed, do you think the situation in Latin America will improve anytime soon? My home country of Colombia is having elections this year, and lots of people are supporting the candidate Pedro, who is uh, different from the current establishment government. Yeah, I haven't followed uh, Colombia too much. I know a little bit about Brazil, and I because I Canada Western world just started going total fascist. Uh, I started really focusing on the Western world. I was following Latin America, uh, South America closely a long time ago. I even bought the book by uh, uh, Tariq Ali, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I, I actually have Pirates of the Caribbean by Tariq Ali signed. Um, and I've gone, I went to his lecture and I used to follow Latin America, South America, Central America quite extensively. But, uh, you know, our Western world is crumbling, uh, freedom and democracy. So I have to focus on here. Uh, as far as where I think Latin America is going to go, I think Latin America is just going to do what Latin America does for a while. Right. Uh, I don't think it's going to improve dramatically or deteriorate dramatically i think it's going to be teeter-tottering uh same old same old right uh you just have to make sure that fascists don't uh take control right legendary boss damn chicho stop tempting me like this nice how is this the pastry delicious delicious first time chat ryan the row how are you doing welcome welcome and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2 synth berry putin made biden look like a fool biden is a fool Putin didn't need to make Biden look like a fool. Biden makes Biden look like a fool. Right? 
Synthberry. More accurately, Biden made himself look like a fool. Putin just has to sit back and watch him do dumb shit. And it's, it's, it's the administration, right? The whole thing. Wasn't Biden already a fool? Yep. Real MC Mike. I want to claim asylum. I never thought it would ever come to this. Just speechless. Just speechless. Just speechless. Oh, God. Ukraine is the stand in for Czechoslovakia at the Munich Security Conference. 84 years. 84 years. Same feel. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Plutonic pluralist. It's Susan Rice, Obama, and others who are really governing. The neocons and new libs together with their hegemony in Washington and the media. Yeah. The media, huge. And the technocrats in Silicon Valley, right? Went outside stream. Went outside streams again when it gets warmer, brother. I went outside today. It was windy. The wind just died down, by the way, just before we started. It was windy. It was cold. Like the cold wind was going through your bones. It was like, whoa. It was sunny, but very chilly. Very chilly. Very chilly. Markets, gang. I don't know if you guys are following the stock market or not. I'm assuming some of you are, right? And cryptocurrency markets. So Bitcoin, crypto is tracking Wall Street, right? The Dow and the NASDAQ, which is problematic, right? Because they're no longer a hedge to a certain degree, even though they are, right? If one, if if the stock market completely collapses uh, for because of uh, fiat currency reasons, you will see Bitcoin and other cryptos rise right with a handful of stocks in the markets rising one of them being coin you can hedge your bet with uh, against cryptos with coin as well right or um, mirror it right but right now cryptos are following wall street right following the markets which is problematic um, so you have to look into something where you can hedge your bets right today the markets were down i think um it closed 500 points down or 550 points down or something like this uh this whole week is going to be interesting uh it's anybody's guess which way it goes tomorrow or for the rest of the week uh there could be flash crashes happening and if flash crashes are happening take your profits where you can uh not financial advice i can tell you family will be taking profits where they can when flash crashes happen if multiple flash crashes are happening then ride the puts all the way down right one outside oh god peace in our time quote i don't think so it's why i'm buying metal yeah eat peace in your time a joe chicho lockheed martin has gone up no surprise no surprise no surprise i was glad to see boeing go down it was boeing was down today for a fair bit but then it popped back back up again right amigo sen silo hello hello everyone with a lot of money got into crypto like an investment that they use the same only without uh, repercussions there are repercussions there are repercussions i mean uh, amigo some people foolishly are storing everything in uh, an outside wallet they need to secure their wallets right make it uh, personal right make sure they only have the key that it's not stored somewhere else um, A lot of people have been trading crypto but they don't realize that they have to realize those gains right so they're gonna be paying taxes on some of those gains and a lot of people don't account for how much those taxes might be okay um, th th there are huge benefits of course you need to hedge with them but uh, they're not uh, and there's they can be tracked like bitcoin you can see all the transactions everywhere they're gone so centralized power if they can seize your bank account they can come in and say any cryptos that go through that went through the dark web or no longer are considered to be funds for terrorism or some crap like this so those would be hot potatoes you wouldn't want to touch those so all of a sudden you would see filters pop up in the blockchain where it wouldn't process anything that's gone through uh the dark web which would be weird i'm not sure how the program would work but you know all of a sudden the crypto community would say okay government's not allowing us to trade cryptos or do anything they're making it illegal unless we put an app on there or some kind of filter on there where anything that's gone through the dark web can no longer 
filter through the the algorithms right it's, we don't know we don't know seagull hello how are you doing first time chat welcome to our live stream seagull puppies truth laugh aloud institutional money in btc indeed indeed right no no varney no varney definitely don't buy puts during a flash crash <laughs> yeah don't buy puts during a flash crash. you can sell puts during a flash crash crash don't buy puts uh, the iv will be ridiculously high indeed and that's the uh, I, I call it the premium i think that's what you're referring to the premium on the on the options right plutonic plurus the pax americana shall be transformed in a pax wef world economic forum big tech china oligarchy but that seems only totalitarian step too much for chinese uh, style harmony yeah it's it's there that's what they're trying i don't think it's going to work ess1 measure inflation by the price of fredo bars haha <laughs> anti-social behavior chicho ever the opportunist jing and the ccp are now comparing the rebellion rebellion government in donbass to the government of taiwan and that defenders of the ukraine should support china as they attempt to annex taiwan are they china is saying that mm, i don't know so china is going against russia that doesn't sound right oh well, god i don't want to be negative but profits has not emotional uh, equity i agree but sound sleep does elder god yeah that's sal going meow he wants in here i've closed it off so he can't come he wants some cuddles he just woke up he's like come on come on chicho sun clover how are you doing chicho hope all is well well brother do you have any thoughts on not um filing paying taxes as a form of protest of the canadian government uh sun clover I think every Canadian, everyone in the United States should have a business on the side, at least one, where if they're only making money through salary, that they take some of that money, lower themselves in a lower tax bracket and invest in their own business, whatever business that might be. Now, that's something that you're going to have to figure out for yourself. But the system is set up. And this is something, um, what's his name? Martin said right the system i'm paraphrasing by the way and martin uh was a former um what do you call it, finance minister of canada and then he became the prime minister of canada right and paraphrasing he said our economic system is set up in a way where if you're a very productive person either individually or as a uh or managing a company then you shouldn't have to pay taxes or you should pay very little taxes because you're taking your profits and investing it back into your company for growth or investing it into uh, the community right so our system economic system is set up in canada and the united states in a way where uh, you can lower yourself in tax bracket by investing in yourself and your business Okay. and that's something you would have to look into photonic bonus can we trade cryptos and nfts etc via messenger uh doves <laughs> joe chicho i just uh, heard a cat you did indeed and that is sal he's he really wants to come in here you can hear a little creak <laughs> come with the cat come with the sal swag boy felix i am not attempting to state uh what russia is doing is wrong but i've heard that the people in eastern ukraine desire to be part of russia yeah yeah they're 90 percent russian speaking the two provinces that russia is now occupying i guess they moved in they're i believe 90 percent russian speaking and the problem is the government in Kiev that came in after the Maidan revolution, they overthrew a democratically elected government. A year before it was going to be elections held violently, right? Uh, when they got in, within a few months or a couple of years, they passed a law that uh, people couldn't speak Russian and they couldn't speak, uh, they couldn't teach Russian in schools and stuff like this. It's like you took a whole, it's like 
That's insane, right? It's like Canada passing a law right now saying that even in Quebec, you would have to teach kids in English. You can't teach, you can't speak, you can't speak in government positions in French or teach in, teach French in schools or anything like this. Well, what do you think Quebec would do? Right? What do you think Quebec would do? Anti-socialist behavior, Chicho. The quote is currently up on a Global Times. Chinese state media Twitter account really link it up on our discord page anti-socialist behavior link it up see what Chicho please open the door for <laughs> I can't do it right now I'm all locked in with my lapel mic <laughs> buddy and they're they're going out in the patio right now they're loving it I wouldn't mind not getting French. I wish I paid more attention during French class. I wish I paid more attention during French class so I could pick up the language, but uh, you don't pay attention when you're in, when you're in that cell and be running when you're in high school, right? Mm, delicious. Delicious. Exciting times. No beat, not homemade. I got it from a bakery, but it's a really good bakery. Uh, Chicho, how do you judge when is a good time to buy into real estate? I, I don't play real estate, but for me, the only time I would buy into real estate if I was uh, if I was going to buy a place. That I was gonna go live there, permanent roots, right? And right now I'm not interested in setting permanent roots in a place. I haven't come across a place that I want to set permanent roots. Uh, I want to. I know I want to stay in Canada, Western Canada, but depending on how the econo economy goes, political system goes, right? Uh, if we're about to go behind the Iron Curtain, right? Then, um, I mean, last resort. Uh, you would have to leave the country somehow, right? Aside from that, uh, if you see the market crash 90%, it's probably a good idea to buy some real estate. I know some people did during uh, the 2008 crash and stuff, right? Flee to Idaho. A lot of Canadians, if this goes, uh, there's Canadians slowly filtering into the United States, right? Um, I, I don't think it's necessary uh, right now because I don't think these fascists are going to keep control. Um, Canadians have risen uh, and already provinces are breaking away. We might see the breakup of Canada, by the way, and I welcome that. Uh, to a certain degree if if it's going to be a choice between living under fascism or the breakup of Canada I think many people would choose the breakup of Canada right uh, until the fascism is defeated and then people can decide to come back together again under a constitution that makes sure uh, charter rights that makes sure that fascism will never take over again All right Stay on the island, bomb the bridges, Elder God says. What do you think about buying land? Uh, El, El Miro, um, the buying land is good, really, if you can get it at a good price. But don't go into severe debt right now. You don't want to be in debt right now because if they're going to bring on the Great Reset, right, then uh, what they're going to do, interest rates are going to go through the roof. No one will be able to pay their debts right and they're going to come and bring you a contract and say sign here and your debt is wiped clean but you forfeit the right to own anything right uh, you will just have a salary and you will be put on a budget you will be given an allowance for doing a certain type of work like full-on communism on that level right and that's it so very dangerous very dangerous 
Ramsey Mike says, I want Alberta to secede. The demonstrations in Alberta, uh, Calgary, was amazing. Synthbury, if Canadians started flooding into the U.S., the Democrats would build a wall faster than you can blink. <laughs> Hilarious. Ramsey Mike, annex Alberta to the U.S. Come on. Well, it depends what part of the U.S. I don't want any part of California. I don't want any part of New York. All right, they're draconian there as well. Plutonic Pluris, yes. Make it an independent island. <laughs> Alternative future histories. Red and blue America separate, as does Canada. I think uh, possibly we might be heading there. I was at those demonstrations. Were you MC Mike? Wow, they were powerful, man. They were powerful. The Victoria one was pretty sweet too, but nothing. It wasn't as big as uh, Calgary. Elder God, the island is actually very easy to defend and uh, i see no bridges haha <laughs> wow depends i i live in a part of the part of canada that's very leftoid so economically most people are pretty illiterate as to what it takes to be anti-fragile uh, to build a, a, a sustainable community sustainable society not just in terms of social benefits and stuff by economically a lot of a lot of people have bought into this bs this is a lemon rampa it's got a little piece of lemon on top too right look at that super good tart tangy very nice Baseman says, Chicho, are you talking about Canada or U.S. having a great reset? Or is this all across the board? It's all across the Western world. Wherever the World Economic Forum has installed their puppets, they want to do a great reset. In Canada, United States, U.K., most of Western Europe, they want to do a great reset. Right? Which is going to be just a consolidation of assets into the Davos group. Right? few dozen people own everything and we are just slaves I, I think they're dreaming and it would be a nightmare for humanity right Joe Ch uh, Chicho there's a British Columbia independence movement apparently uh, I believe so it's picking up steam but I think more people are uh, focused on uh, saving British Columbia first there's movement in British Columbia that wants to uh, win, take back control of British Columbia from these fascists that are here, from the left, right? Full-on fascists here. They want to uh, take control back from these fascists, and they, they would. Like these, yeah, anyway, this gets into politics. And then start moving it west. And Alberta will join instantly, right? So that'd be two huge provinces, important provinces, and that movement will continue. MC Mike, I can link up a video if you want. Just let me know what a folder to put it in. Uh, put it in. Um, I saw the video for those demonstrations going on. I know the street, by the way. I lived downtown in uh, downtown Calgary in uh, 1998 for like half a year, more than half a year, actually. I was doing geophysics there, and I went there a lot doing geophysics. So I know that street well, the underpass with the overpass going. And it's the... 17th street or 17th avenue or something like this it's been a long time though i've been uh, since i've been there sun clover chicho so uh i am in that boat you describe only income comes from salary this year i started receiving it as sole uh receiving it as sole proprietor so what you're saying is i should take some of what i would be paying in taxes use it to purchase say a laptop and uh, gear for music production or making money online in any other way a 100% right that way you can open up multiple streams of income and ultimately pay less in taxes because those purchases are considered uh, tax write-offs this is not financial advice but that is exactly what I'm saying okay and it's 
100% legit and 100% the government wants you to do this is good for the economy you're taking your salary you're making and then you're trying to create another business to generate another revenue stream that's a win-win across the board for everyone right swag boy uh, flex thoughts on the trucker convoy in Canada a brother uh, my thoughts are out there on these two platforms these three platforms uh, you want to go to BitChute, Rumble, or Odyssey, and you can see my thoughts there. We put out a lot of videos on there. Okay, and in two days, we're going to talk current events again. We talked current events yesterday. I shared my thoughts. Uh, we're going to talk current events two days from now. We can talk about it again. And today, I released four short videos from a previous current events that we did on February 13th, stating what I think about the trucker convoy. So go to right now. You can go to BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Check out the last four videos I put out. All four of them are really related, or the last two at least, full-on related to the trucker convoy in Canada. Okay. Uh, they won't be on SensorTube, and they are not on SensorTube. Antisocialist behavior. Leftists not understanding the cost of their uh, ideology. You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, they don't know economics. They don't understand it. A lot of leftoids I've met have zero concept of mathematics, and when they don't have they don't have any concept of mathematics or science, they're just talking out of their ass. Jake the Snake, remember in 2016 when American liberals said they're fleeing to Canada to escape fascism after Trump? One I know, what a joke. <laughs> As a friend of mine says, use your neighbors. Uh, for sandbags haha uh -huh. but he's very angry <laughs> that sounds very angry el miro i've uh, heard some people say that most of the truckers are actually vaccinated yeah 90 percent are uh, injected vaccinated are from other countries not other countries no the, the multiple nationalities meaning that the trucker protesting are a minority not sure how accurate yeah 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 Nero. politics right one of the organizers is Jewish double vaxxed. <laughs> One of the organizers that they just uh, uh, denied bail to is a Metis female grandmother. Metis grandmother. I believe she's a grandmother, right? Female grandmother, right? Well, female, you got to, grandmother, you got to be female, I guess, right? Uh, so Metis grandmother being charged for mischief, right? Denied bail and her bank account seized meanwhile meanwhile you got some of the greatest pedophiles in the world in human history that are given bail and their bank accounts aren't frozen right wrap your head around that right oh god uh, finance and pol uh, policies are now linked at the hip indeed indeed once the government seizes your bank account that is it filters into personal finance investing right that that variable has to be uh, taken into consideration anti-socialist behavior speaking of anti-fragile econo economies hackers broke into the open sea nft uh, marker and stole 250 plus nfts wow 1.7 million in value serious wow but that's like uh, the nft whatever they stole um, those would be uh, like stealing original art right so the only way you could sell those is under the table right so there must be there is art out there that has been stolen but they were they will never see the public uh never never be displayed in museums or anything anymore it's all in private hands because it was stolen uh otherwise people will go oh you're handling stolen property uh, nfts would work the same way Elegant. I was hoping to come to Canada in the autumn. I hope it's still possible by then. Well, I hope so too, brother. I hope so too. Swag boy, uh, boy Felix. Ah, uh, I'll check it out. Thanks for the details. My pleasure, swag bag boy. Swag boy. See, boy, Chicho. How much time do you spend every day tracking the markets? I find it so hard to fit this into my schedule. Uh, I spent a fair bit. I spent a fair bit. If I'm going to do something, uh, 
on this level uh, you have to be on top of it right uh, but this is just a phase going through right now because it's a trader's market right um, so and uh, there's a lot of other things happening so I'm keeping track of the money flow because it affects the politics and the politics is all encompassing right now so that's what I'm doing I get up in the mornings uh, 4 30 5 o'clock I'm looking at news and tracking the markets at the same time I do other things I multitask I'm very good at multitasking I, I that's why I say and that's one thing I learned from having multiple streams of revenue uh, or working towards it let's say uh, you learn multitasking very well right, uh, right now uh, El Miro I took this week off uh, because the truckers called for a general strike for this week and I canceled all my students this week and that's why we're doing seven streams in a row right uh, I I decided uh, that it was a worthy cause to to do right maybe government will censor my thoughts right, right. they'll come and put a chip in my head and saying you cannot access those thoughts anymore just like they censor people's bank accounts right. that is Canada would you travel to Canada I wouldn't travel to Australia that's a fascist state as well or New Zealand right I feel the same way about Canada why would anyone travel to Canada Canadians have to deal with what's going on first and then we party right MC Mike well, if the majority of Canada finds its balls and stops fooling itself into compliance and realize we're at war with our government, then yeah, we might be able to clean this up pretty quick before the fall. Probably won't recommend go, uh, going if it's full commie dictatorship. Yeah, um, I think uh, more people than not have woken up already, uh, MC Mike. People, Canadians are pissed, man. Canadian government came out and said they're going to euthanize people's pets. <laughs> they're going to come and grab your pet and kill your pet. I don't know. There's a lot of animal lovers in Canada, man. I don't think they'll put up with that shit. Oh, my God. I saw a Jamaican getting arrested in Canada. One Bob Marley looking freedom fighter and six banks. <laughs> yeah, swine. Swine. Krishi. Kri Kurisha, Kurisha, twenty-one. Salutations. Hope you're doing well. No name boy. I really need to find a hobby or a side hustle so I can make some extra money because I don't want to spend the rest of my life working in a factory. My only problem is that my mind is all over the place, so I really can't dive in, in into a subject and get good at it. Uh, no name boy you don't have to do it full blown right now just dabble in things right now if you want if um and gang one piece of financial advice i can give you there's no one in this world in the western world anyway that has gotten rich and financially independent just from their salaries you have to invest your money your energy your capital you have to invest it because there's inflation there's devaluation right uh, so you have to play some markets figure out what market you want to be in and start playing it MC Mike oh I know and Justin Dodo loves his public opinion polls from the state funded propagandist i.e. Canadian brainwashing corporation cringeworthy TV and globalist news indeed indeed MC Mike anti-socialist behavior scrolling uh, Breitbart an unintentional positive of Biden's ineptitude is that the UK is not seeking to create trade deals with individual states rather than with the US makes a balkanization easier in the future if states are already acting as sovereign powers as they should have always been indeed indeed sleepy way she show do any of your students parents give you any crap since you're not jabbed uh, I, I, right now I do remotely and I have I have uh, 
I have parents that uh, that uh, that would be okay that actually uh, are uh, very glad that I'm not but right now I'm doing everything remotely and I don't think I would uh, I'm into going to people's homes uh, anymore uh, I'm okay with doing things remotely MC Mike got to find a way to break the MSN spell somehow we'll see we'll see people are idiots if they're still watching uh, corporate mainstream news they're gonna be financially bankrupt Joe Chicho just before the live stream started I saw a video of a Canadian a politician saying that Hong Hong is code for HH yeah a lot of a lot of those Canadian politicians are are agents of the World Economic Forum platonic Florence every protest is a secret Nazi conspiracy plan today hilarious hilarious gang how are we doing for time oh we're almost end we're at the end gang we're at the end two hours of personal finance investing and uh, it's related to politics now because we have no choice when governments gets involved in your banking uh, you have no no choice but to start talking about politics as well gang so how about we call the stream tomorrow i think we're doing a graphic novel reading of 1984 right i think tomorrow we're doing a reading of uh first graphic novel adaptation of george orwell's 1984 and we're going to do it right here i gotta set everything up uh tonight or i'll set everything up tomorrow morning and then uh thursday we're doing current events and then we're doing something else and then we're doing uh reading jfk assassination cards i should have brought those out and showed them to you guys uh what are we doing friday we're doing something on friday i forget what we're doing on friday the west sanctioned their own truckers harder than putin indeed crazy yes i'm excited for reading reading comic books nice so tomorrow we're going to be doing reading comic books george orwell's 1984 the graphic novel by fido nesti wednesday february 23rd from 2 to 4 p.m we'll be doing a live stream comic book reading of segments of george orwell. yeah and we're going to go through segments it's a pretty big book so we're going to read the first you know look at the graphic novel uh it's a hardcover hardcover books it's like thick we're going to look at it read the first few pages and then the chat can say uh what page they want us they want us to flip to and we flip to it and we read it 1984 oh yeah friday we're doing conspiracies esoteric knowledge ancient history aliens current events entheogens and more from 3 to 5 p.m pdt pacific my time thank you elder god and gang thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed the discussion and thank you for sharing information and giving us your thoughts if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho you can follow this work uh and once following this work if you like what you see and if you have the means to support this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywall everything is creative Commons. share and share a like and once you follow the work for a while you'll find out that everything's layered on mathematics and gain for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support i hope you're enjoying the content and uh i will continue to do what i am doing um so thank you for being there for this we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat here that pops up twitch is where you want to be at and gang again thank you for being here thank you for the support thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the bits thank you for using points and mods thank you for taking care of business and being here we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines bk gap parlor getter and bitcloud you can follow the work there and we do have a discord page you can come to our chat anytime you want type in exclamation mark discord and the invitation link will pop up and the link will be in the description of this video uh, or this audio on soundcloud uh, and you can follow the work there join us there and participate in uncensored dialogue on our discord page and we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform oops we just lost oh, did it was a recording should have been recording Doop. 
oh memory full oh well uh my recording on the lapel mic just went full it just ended <laughs> i should have made up some space so it's going to be cut off a little bit uh but the uh, podcast will be available there and we will be uploading this full live stream to even though we talked a little politics censor to bitchute rumble and odyssey because it is related to personal finance and investing gang thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed the content thank you for the discussion and if you can make it tomorrow reading george orwell's 1984 and looking at it first <laughs> just intro is awesome awesome uh first graphic novel adaptation of george orwell's 1984 and make canada free again indeed bye everyone